Uh, so what I'm going to cover and think about is if you are confronted with a big pile of unregistered deeds, we need to make sure we understand what would be an appropriate root of title. Unregistered land also involves um, particular problems quite often with plans uh, because it's very important that a seller only contracts to sell the land you know, to which they have title. And of course, it's equally important on the flip side that the buyer obtains title to all the land that they're expecting to get. Uh, so we are pretty reliant on decent plans. And of course, we are quite spoilt in the, in the registered system because we do have the nice title plans. Uh, and plans are often a problem in an unregistered transaction. And of course, as I've just mentioned, I can't stress enough the importance of the index map search in the unregistered system. Uh, you will have the map search. It is free. It is fantastic. But if you have a poor uh, plan within the unregistered title deeds and you act for the seller, uh, or indeed the buyer, but you should be providing the index map search, if you're acting for the seller as part of the contract pack, and if you send the plan to the land registry and the land registry struggle to identify the extent of the property by reference to the plan which you have submitted, the land registry now do have a bit of a naughty habit of coming back and saying, oh, you don't you worry, you just do a little old map search, you just check it yourself, just use the map search, it's there, blah, blah, blah. lots of kisses, you do the map search. No, the other three rejection criteria, so these automatic we're going to reject, you know, out of hand your application. We're not going to give you a requisition. We're just going to dump your application because you couldn't get the basics right. Relate, as I've mentioned, to applications uh, for first registrations that rely on copy deeds. I've mentioned that you have to send a conveyances certificate, which the land registry will rely on, um, which, as I say, is a specific Form that the conveyance has to complete and sign. To, as I say, essentially, it's saying, yes, we've got the originals and yes, we'll give them to you, land registry, if you want. Well, if you make the application based on copy deeds and you don't send that certificate, the land registry is going to reject your application. 